Good morning, Eagles, and welcome to the 15th episode of Eagle News. Yay, it's already Friday. Today is Friday, September 17th. My name is Claire. And my name is Avery, and today is International Country Music Day. You can celebrate this day by listening to popular country artists including Carrie Underwood, Johnny Cash, and Dolly Parton. September celebrates National Hispanic and Latinx Heritage Month. Here is today's announcement. On September 17th, Hispanic Heritage Week was started by Ple President Lyndon Johnson in 1968. It was also later then expanded to whole, a whole month under President Ronald Reagan in 1988. Now let's get started with the weather in the e News Weather Station with Sarah. Thank you guys. It looks like it'll be a sunny day today, Eagles. Today's forecast for Powell is a high of 83 degrees and a low of 59 degrees. Looks like there is no rain today, so definitely head out and get some sunshine. Oh, what did you say? I said it's going to be nice and sunny all day. Well, I don't need this. <laughs> that's right, Eagles. It's going to be sunny all day. And that's it for today's weather. Now let's head back to the newsroom for, with Claire and Avery for today's headlines. Thank you, ladies. No school next Monday. Make sure to get outside. The weather is going to be nice. Spelling Bee, please stop by Miss Holzer's room at 147 to get a copy of the Spelling Bee word list. Practices will be held in the morning starting on, in November. See Mrs. Holzer for more details. For sports, congrats to the Hyatt 7th grade football team with their 32-0 win over Orange Wednesday night. The win was aided by a five turnover performance by the defense. The 8th grade football team played last night, and we will have an update on Monday's news. And good luck to the players and the cheerleaders. Congratulations to Hyatt's cross-country boys on their win against Orange on Tuesday. It was a very close race. Hyatt's boys 27, Orange 30, Hyatt's girls 30, Orange 27. Now for Ski Club news. Hey Eagles, look for Ski Club information on the Schoology feed sometime in October. It's time for Mr. Meadow's best thing on the internet today, and for today's videos, we'll visit some flying geese, a dog jumps in for a visit, and then a cat uses a light as a crown, we think. Check it out! Out of all these videos, the one with the lady flying with the geese is the coolest, but I'm not sure if I'd fly with that thing just to fly with the geese. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, Claire. I'm flying with the geese next week. Now let's head over to the Mr. Nicolosi Lunch Studio with Josie and Sarah. Thanks, ladies. For today's lunch, we are having a grilled cheese with tomato soup, a hamburger, cheeseburger, or veggie burger. That sounds yummy, Josie. As always, you have the choice of select subs and salads. You can also check out the pizza of the day. I think that pizza sounds extra tasty, Sarah. Don't forget to buy milk or juice with your meal. And stop by the ice cream section to get a frozen fruit cup, which can be counted as a fruit in your lunch meal. What do you think, Mr. Nicolosi? Great, Great answer. answer. Enjoy, Enjoy your, your lunch, lunch, Eagles. Now let's head back to the newsroom for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now it's time for... <laughs> Trivia! For today's trivia, let's head over to the Trivia Green Screen, green screen Studio to hear today's question. Thank you, Avery. Yesterday's trivia was where do most kids nowadays spend most of their time? The answers were room slash bed for 28 points, school for 22, internet 16, 
and the mall for 12 points. Now today's question. Eagles, make sure you only send up to two answers to Mr. Meta after you hear the question. So here it is. Name a business you go to to seems to have the rudest employees. Again, name a business you go to that seems to have the rudest employees. Send two answers to Mr. Meta and we will let you know the top answers and how many points you got on Monday. Make sure you send the best answer so you can be on top. That's it for trivia. Let's head back to the newsroom for our second video on today's show. Thank you for that great trivia question, Josie. For our second video segment, we asked Eagle News students what their favorite mo scary movie is. Let's see it. Hey, Eagles. Today we went around the school and asked students what their favorite scary movie is. Let's roll it. My favorite scary movie is It. Um, my favorite scary movie is The Shining. Uh, my favorite scary movie is A Quiet Place. My favorite scary movie is It. My favorite movie is Halloween. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, my favorite movie is Scary Movie is Scream. My favorite scary movie is Signs. My favorite scary movie is Summer of 84. My favorite scary movie is A Quiet Place. My favorite scary movie is probably A Nightmare on Elm Street. My favorite movie is Bird Box. My favorite scary movie is Friend Request. The scary movie is The Purge. Thanks for watching, Eagles. Bye. Thank you, Eagles, for that awesome video. Those movies seem pretty scary. What's your favorite scary movie, Claire? I like A Quiet Place. How about you, Avery? <laughs> Me too. Now let's head over to the This Day in History studio to see what happened on This Day in History. Thanks, ladies. Since its ratification on this day in history, 1787, the Constitution of the United States have served as the base for all U.S. laws. The Founding Fathers formed the Constitution carefully, distributing the power between the branches of government. The Constitution outlines the government's powers, the limitations on those powers, and the citizens' rights. That was pretty interesting. That's it for today. Let's head back to the news studio to wrap up today's news. Thank you, Josie and Sarah, for that great This Day in History segment. I love learning something new every day. Unfortunately, this is it for today's show. But before we wrap it up, we'd like to leave you with our daily quote. It is easy to, is it, it is easy to sit up and take notice, but what is difficult is getting up and taking action. Wow, Avery, that was a very inspirational quote. That's an awesome quote to share with someone who may be struggling today. It may brighten up their day. Thank you, Claire, and remember to always be kind to one another. That's all for today's show. My name is Avery. My name is Claire. My name is Sarah. And my name is Josie. Have a wonderful Friday, Eagles. See you, See you next time. time. Bye-bye.